एक्सरसाइज एट पॉइंट टू क्वेश्चन नंबर वन वाट एडिशनल इंफॉर्मेशन डू यू नीड टू कंक्लूड द टू ट्राइंगल्स गिवन हियर अंडर आर कॉन्ग्रुएंट यूजिंग एस ए एस रूल हियर सो वाट आर द एस ए एस रूल हियर इन द सेंस एस ए एस रूल टेल्स वाट दिस इज साइड दिस इज एंगल एंड दिस इज साइड हियर सो वी आर टू नो द इंफॉर्मेशन about the side angle and side here so the two triangles are given here and we need information about angle and side here then we can compare the two triangles and according to sas rule we can say that the two triangles are congruent when when the side is equal to that side angle is equal to angle and side is equal to side here so the two triangles are given here but the information about angle t and angle h is not given here that means what is the angle of h and what is the angle of t we don't know here and also when you are going to compare the sides here uh, g h whether it is equal to t r or not or t s is not the measurements of the sides also not given here and uh, we can't say according roughly like uh, this uh, g i g j is uh, equal to r s here so angle is here the opposite uh, side is uh, r s here here angle is here the opposite side is g j here and we can't say like g j is is equal to r s here it may be 4 cm and it may be 5 cm the dimensions are not given here and angle is not given here this said this said no dimension this said this said also no dimension so whenever you want to do any two triangles whether they are equal or congruent or not then what is the uh, things we are going to see in the previous exercise we have seen sas rule where side 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 when three sides are equal then we can say the two triangles are congruent but here when you are going to see sas then the information should be regarding side angle and side so first what information you want means angle measurement we want second what you are going to see side measurement we want or sides we are going to see the sides and angle when you are going to have the information then we can compare the two triangles and we can say the two triangles are congruent question number 2 the map given below shows five different villages village m lies exactly off way between the two pairs of villages a and b as well as and p and q what is the distance between village a and village b hint check if triangle pam is congruent to qbm here so first we are going to see the triangle pqm is it uh, congruent to qbm or not here so how you are going to check whether the uh, triangles are congruent means we are going to compare the side angles and the side here so when you are going to see here am am is equal to bm here because m is a midpoint here so side is equal here side is equal and also am am uh, p is equal to bmq a m p is equal to b m q here why here in the sense uh, vertically opposite angles vertically opposite angles are equal here next uh, pm is equal to qm this is also side here this is also side so when you are going to say side angle side are equal then we can say triangle p uh, p a m is congruent to q b 
M here. This is the triangle. The two triangles are congruent here. Now in the question they ask what is the distance between uh, village A and village P here. Village A and P we are going to see. So we know that the two triangles are congruent. Then QP, AP, AP will be equal to BQ here. And uh, the information of BQ is given. Information of BQ is given which is 4 cm. Then we can say AP is equal to 4 cm here. So this is also 4 cm. Question number 3. Look at the pairs of triangles given below. Are they congruent? If congruent, write the corresponding parts here. So two triangles when you are going to see, we are going to check the side angle side and say whether the two triangles are congruent or not. The side should be equal, angle should be equal and the other side also should be equal. Then it obeys the SAS rule here. So in this we are going to see, so when you are going to see this, so diagram when you are going to see in this way. So this is B, this is A and this will be C here and when you rotate this so this will be S, this will be T and this will be R here and dimensions are given here 4, here 6, here 4, here 6 and angles. Now we can compare it will be easy now. So now we are going to see sides here which is AB is equal to ST that is side AB ST. So AB here and this is ST. Now BAC angle is equal to TSR angle so this is angle next AC and SR AC and SR AC and SR are equal so side angle side are equal then we can say that the two triangles therefore triangle ABC congruent to triangle STR. Second when you are going to see two triangles are given now PO is equal to OR PO is equal to OR to side are equal Next, POQ is equal to ROS angle are equal. Next, QO is equal to SO side are equal. So, SAS rule applies here and we can say therefore two triangles which are OPQ is congruent to ORS so triangle OPQ is congruent to triangle ORS here third one a rectangle box you are going to see where sides are given here so we can say WD is equal to OR side R equal angle W is equal to angle R angle R equal because 90 degrees WO is equal to DR side R equal so according to SAS we can say the two triangles are equal 
that means uh, they are uh, congruent next fourth one when you are going to say here this is one triangle this is one triangle now AC is equal to CA common length that means common side is so length is equal next uh, angle BAC is equal to ACD angles are equal to 30 30 next we are going to see AB which is not equal to DC so side is equal angle is equal but third side is not equal so therefore we can say it is not a not congruent not congruent here question number four which corresponding sides do we need to know to prove that the triangles are congruent using SAS criteria so two uh, diagrams are there in the first diagram this two is there and second diagram these two triangles are there now according to SAS we have to know side angle side here so these two triangles when you are going to compare this is 5 cm this is 5 cm these two are equal this is 40 degrees this is 40 degrees these two are equal now we have to know the third one which is here QR and here BA so this length is not given here so when the side is given length is given then we can say according to SAS rule these two triangles are equal so what is not given means if the information given if the information given like BA is equal to cube R BA is equal to QR then we can say the two triangles are congruent here in the same way when you are going to say second figure AC is equal to CA so AC is equal to CA and angle here 35 35 angles are equal that means uh, CAD angle is equal to CAB next what we have to know the side which is AD and AB which is not given if it is given like uh, AD is equal to AB then we can say that the two triangles are congruent so this information AD and e equal to AB and this uh, BA should be equal to QR these two information means in this one information in this one information the side information should be given then according to SAS side angle side criteria we can say that the two triangles are congruent here